Good evening to the Mistress of Ceremonies, members of the clergy, guest speaker, the chairman and members of the school board, board of management, Sister Pauline, Ursuline sisters, Franciscan sisters, teachers, ancillary staff, specially invited guests, parents, guardians, and fellow graduates. I am honored to stand before you representing the graduating class of 2018. My classmates and I have waited years for this moment to finally arrive, and we are satisfied with our 11 plus results. But we didn't get there by ourselves. We had the support of God, first of all, friends, teachers, and of course, our families. We would like to give a huge thank you to our parents and guardians for your unconditional love and support because you are our first teachers and our support systems. You are the beginning of this journey and we will take the baton to finish the race. You have set the foundation for our education. You have never lost faith in us and for this, we are extremely grateful and we want to say thank you. I would like to thank my fellow students for the motivation and confidence to strive to be the best. I have learned a lot of things these past year, eight years, but the most important thing I've learned is that your work is only limited by your imagination. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. We all have what it takes to be conquerors. So keep striving for excellence through hard work, dedication, and determination. And remember, whatever happens, successes or setbacks. Be grateful to God for them, and don't forget to make him a part of your life. Fellow graduates, when we were five, they asked us what we wanted to be when we grew up. Some of us gave answers like astronaut and cowboy, or in my case, a princess. <laughs> when we were eight, they asked us again. We gave answers like artist and dancer, or again, in my case, a dentist. But now, as we are leaving primary school, they want a serious answer. How about this? Who knows? <laughs> to our teachers from section A to infants B, you have been here from the beginning, and you have always believed in us. And for this, we are forever thankful. To our teachers from class one to four, we are the products of your hard work and dedication. We are thankful to all of you for molding our young tender minds. We will take the lessons you have taught us so that we can face our upcoming challenges head on. To Sister Pauline, I know that you have only been here for a short period of time, but I want to thank you for getting to know us very well. And I know at times that on many Fridays, it may seem that if I did not want to dance, but that is because I would rather pick up a book and read instead of going dancing. But I want to thank you for taking me out of my comfort zone. To Sister Susan, I would like to thank you for everything you have done for me and my family. Even though you are not here this evening, I would still like to thank you. Because when you helped my parents, it gave them the strength and guidance to help me. You have always taught me to thank people, despite their age, color, or class. So at this time, I would like to give an enormous thank you to the ancillary staff. A special thank you is ex ex extended to the cleaners who have played an important role in my life personally and to that of the school. Because without them, we would not have a clean working environment. To those of you who have served us lunch, we thank you for making our bellies full because we brains can't work on an empty stomach. <laughs> Respect is very important. Whether it be the vagrant on the street or the President of the United States of America, Mr. Donald Trump. <laughs> so today, I want to remind my fellow students to have respect for everyone 
and especially our teachers. It is mandatory to develop a good attitude towards them, even though at times it may appear that they don't want to succeed. The kind of attitude we portray can make us or break us. The choice is ours. As we are leaving St. Patrick's Roman Catholic School to go into a new learning environment, we leave with God's blessings. Some people didn't want me to succeed, but nonetheless, I proved them wrong and never gave up. I used their negativity as motivation to work harder. So what I am saying is that just because some people may be jealous of your situation or success, you should never let that cloud your judgment. Work hard. Prove them wrong. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So my fellow graduates, this is our final farewell. But I want to leave you with this message. When you look in the mirror 20 years from now, who do you want to see? What I am saying is that you have to make, start to make a difference. Be like the butterfly effect. Flap your wings and make a hurricane of goodness and peace. But remember, dare to be different and never change yourself for anyone else. P.T. Barnum once said, no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. Thank you.